Hello everyone, Simone from the Customer Experience team here today. Thank you very much for attending the session today with Aviation Australia. We are very aware that it's a very busy time for you throughout your year, so we appreciate your attendance today. In terms of the Customer Experience team, this is a new team that was created by Aviation Australia to assist you with a wide range of activities, such as if you need to enroll one of your students, if you need to organize campus tours at Aviation Australia, or if you need training about our products, you can simply contact the customer experience team here with us. This is a team made of four different people coming from a wide range of different experiences, such as cabin crew, such as recruitment, such as working into an RTO space. So we are here to assist you. Now, we also understand that you would like to see and understand what we do better. So we decided today to give you a bit of a behind the scenes on what happens into one of our many products for the Cert 2 in Aircraft Line Maintenance. Thank you very much for being here with us today with Aviation Australia and we look forward to engaging with you. Hi, good morning everybody um, and thank you Steve. Uh, my name's uh, David Kingshot, I'm the Delivery and Training Manager here at Aviation Australia. Um, I'd like to welcome you all to um, our Structures Workshop. This is um, around here. Uh, this is primarily where we do all our um, hand tool work, um, uh, manufacturing of components and, um, uh, and some of the hardware that we work on here at Innovation Australia. Um, I'd like to show you a couple of examples of things that we do with our students uh, from Cert 2 and Cert 4. Um, so the Cert 2 program, um, uh, we start with um, getting you to manufacture a V-block. So it doesn't look very much, but it's an aluminium block uh, with a nice V-shaped cut in it. The idea with this is it actually starts getting you using your hands and using measurements and drawings in the aviation industry. And this is a great little stepping stone for uh, then moving into uh, what we do within the SET4 program. Um, with this um, V-block, we've got a nice little uh, notch cut in there, some precision holes drilled, um, and then we have standard aircraft hardware. So this one here being a bolt and a nylock nut, and this one we, um, we drill and tap a hole so it actually goes inside, um, inside the actual aluminium block itself. So moving on to the SET4 program, in the SET4 program we have two streams which um, do structures. So the first one is a mechanical, uh, mechanical class. Within the mechanical class, you're gonna make this during, your, uh, during the course. So we start with um, uh, this uh, filing block here. And the filing block has two sides, a steel and an aluminium side. Um, and then we basically then look at uh, all the different types of hardware. So again, this, is, uh, this starts a little bit bigger, so you have to file it down using um, all your precision measuring tools, files, getting your hand skills up to, um, to scratch and how we actually measure and, um, and reduce the size of this. Then we're gonna try and use multiple different types of fastener. So here we go through pretty much you know, a good 70% of the normal uh, types of fastener. And if you look inside, you can see we have nylocks, lock nuts, uh, we use taps, and then we have different ways of securing our fasteners too. So that's stage one, then stage two, then we look at this big wing box section. So the idea here is this is all flat sheet aluminium when we start. Um, and then we use our different tools around the workshop here from uh, rollers, presses, drill, drill presses. And the idea here is we simulate making a basic wing, wing section. Um, again, in here we have, uh, being mechanical, we're going to be looking at um, hoses. So we're going to manufacture a flexible and a rigid hose, um, all from drawings, um, as you would do out in industry. Then going into, um, if you decide you wanted to go into a structures course, um, then you end up building this one here, which is basically a wing section. Um, again, this all starts as um, um, flat sheet aluminium. Um, so we use different processes um, to like hand forming. So this rib is actually a, a flat sheet alum, aluminium rib uh, made out of what we call T0 aluminium, which is very soft. So we form it by hand and then we put it in an oven and heat it up to get, get its actual strength. 
as a part of this wing box section, uh, we then do composite. So a lot of our aeroplanes these days are made of composite materials because they are so much lighter <laughs> so, and, and a lot a lot, weighs a lot stronger as well. Um, so we make this from scratch, uh, from different types of, uh, well, basically uh, carbon fiber um, and fiberglass. Um, we put a little honeycomb core in the middle here um, and you make this during a week, at which point then if we get time, then we damage it and you have to do a repair in there as well. To kind of give you a little bit of an insight into composites and how they work in the industry. Um, yeah, around, around the workshop again, we've got multiple different tools which you all get to use, um, from rivet guns um, uh, to actually making the, our aluminium skins are all attached by solid aluminium rivets. Um, so you'll get to uh, use those drill to drills, um, then rollers, presses, and all, all those sort of things. Well, I hope this little insight has given you an idea of what's, uh, what we do here in the Structures Workshop. And um, back to you, Steve. Thank you.